Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I might be your lovely spider host, and today is the day. So, a couple years back, I had asked this certain creator, one of my favorite creators online, Savannah Alexandra Art, if I could do my own version of like her reindeer centaurettes for Christmas because I wanted to do it as like a little project to show how far I've come during the last previous like year and um, I got inspired off of her Halloween ones and I wanted to do essentially a video where I make some Halloween ones since I always do the Christmas ones every year and um, it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm really excited and um, Savannah Alexandra Art is one of my favorite creators online. She does really cute pinup art. She has a game that she's working on called The Puppets. It's like a puppets game and her art is really cute. If you haven't heard of her, go check her out on YouTube. Go check her out on Instagram. She's really nice and she's helped me a lot with some um, questions I had about college and what I wanted to do with my art career. She was very nice and had time to answer them, even though she has a very busy schedule. And I really appreciate that, so thank you very much. Um, so I suppose we should get into the video. So to start, I was trying to think of other monsters that Savannah hadn't already done. And I believe in her series she had done like a pumpkin girl, um, a mummy, a vampire, a ghost, and a witch. And I was trying to think of other ones that hadn't been done. Specifically, what came to mind was a Franken monster, or basically a reanimated corpse kind of thing. Um, so I went with like a Franken monster themed one where it's like a stitched together amalgamation of corpse parts. And um, I ended up really liking it. I gave her kind of an Elvira hairstyle, because, you know, we love Elvira in this household. And um, I was just having a lot of fun with it. I went with the design, I tried to give it a nice little background that was cohesive and easy to look. I tweaked some of it later on in the video. Um, I also tried to think of doing a scarecrow, but um, when I tried to draw the scarecrow or figure out how she would kind of function, it kind of made my brain hurt and <laughs> um, I gave up on the scarecrow idea and went with a vampire, which was kind of a repeat of one of the ones that Savannah did. But um, I did it in my own version instead of just completely, you know, just doing like a whole repeat. I tried to make my own design, you know? That's essentially what you have to do when you're taking inspiration because plagiarism isn't cool, kids. Um, so essentially I was just having a lot of fun with the Franken monster. I tried to give a Frankenstein's castle background. It was kind of confusing how I wanted to do it, but eventually I figured it out and I made it a little better. And I gave some little gravestones because um, you want to imply that it's a reanimated corpse creature because it's a Franken monster. And you would kind of have to go to a graveyard to get some of those parts, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I was just going through, I was finishing coloring all this, and then I sketched all the rest of the ones out, and then I try going in a way where like I would sketch, I would outline, I would do all this stuff and yeah, uh, it just kind of got chaotic very quickly because I just did one in full go and then I didn't sketch out the others and I'm like, what? What am I thinking? Um, but yeah, when it came to the Scarecrow, I was trying to figure out how she would actually function. Like, would her whole body be Scarecrow and made of rags? Would she be able to walk if she's a stuffed Scarecrow creature? <laughs> And, um, yeah, it just made my brain hurt, so I kind of was like, no. I did a headless horsewoman because, you know, that was just kind of like, hey, that's an iconic urban legend of sorts that would be really cool to have as a centaur person. And, yeah, and then I did a cute little ghost. I tried to make her very nice and pretty. I did a little witch with a black kitty cat on her back because, um... You know me and cats, I love cats a lot. And, um, I thought it was cute. And, um, I eventually added a little cauldron in as the background, but I add the backgrounds later. And then I did a cute little demon girl. I don't know, like a demon horse girl. It's, it's very strange. But I tried to do ones that, you know, Savannah hadn't already done. Just to, you know, not completely feel like I was 
copying the ideas of random monster centaurette girls, <laughs> but um, I just, you know, I wanted to inspire a lot of the stuff off of what she had done because her art really inspires me. And I, I am a particular fan of the Fantasia scene where the Centauri girls are you know, doing their thing. I, I grew up like was just like mystified by it because I was definitely a horse girl as a kid. I cringe at my past self and I cringe at myself now, but that's okay. Um, I am cringe, but I am free, like I have always said. Um, the ghost girl was something I particularly liked doing because of the flowy dress, the flowy hair, and here's me going in and doing a cute little vampire lady who's a little chubby, and um, I tried to mimic that in the horse's body, and yeah, um, she kind of was like a mix of an inspiration of Lady Dimitrescu hair and hat with like an Eclipsa color palette from like Star Wars The Horses of Evil. So she's really cute, really pretty, and I gave her a nice little different dress, and it ends up being more red, reddish, magenta-ish, than like straight up purple, if that makes sense. Um, I ended up giving the Headless Horsewoman a human head instead of a pumpkin head, even though there are depictions where he has a pumpkin head, and then there are depictions where it's a human head, but I went with a, a girl head because it kind of made more sense for Centaur Girl to have a human head and not a pumpkin head. <laughs> I'm just stinky thinking over here. Um, I had a lot of fun adding the little spooky candles for the ghost girl and going through and doing all the outlines and stuff for the lovely little witch lady. And I, I had a lot of fun doing like looking up references for the stretching cat because I just wanted to do a little stretchy kitty cat, you know. <laughs> um, the demon girl I had a lot of fun doing because she had like this cute little outfit. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give her like a, a chest plate where it looked like wings, so I kind of was trying to figure out what I wanted to do there, and then I thought it looked weird, and I just back like it completely backfired on me, so I just renamed it all. Um, I was trying to fix the vintage kind of effects I wanted to do on the um, other, you know, designs and stuff, especially with the Franken Monster Girl. And um, I was on a teal kick when I was drawing these because I wanted to get my hair half black, half teal. And um, it ended up looking really pretty on me, and I was really happy with my hair. Um, I think I posted a picture of it on threads, so yeah, if you want to go check that out, you can. Um, I kind of made her very desaturated and kind of gothy looking and the hair looks almost black instead of teal, but I just wanted to kind of do like fancy little effects on her. Um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do color wise on the Headless Horsewoman because it was kind of hard because I wanted to do the hair differently because it didn't look like being all poofed out because I needed to kind of have it out and tilt it a little bit. Gravity's a thing, so I gotta account for gravity. Um, and yeah, I was just kind of having fun with it. Um, we did the outline because I was like, I don't know how I feel about this, and I just went back and fixed it like a, like a good noodle. Um, tweaking as I go. Um, I decided to make her horse, the horse part of her body black because, um, you know, have this horse person who usually has like a black horse or is kind of a shadowy, kind of dark color. I don't know, I think it got inspired off of like the Scooby-Doo horse, like from, I think it was the Goblin King episode where they have to go to like the Halloween land <laughs> and um, they get chased by the Headless Horseman and stuff and it's all this whole thing. I, I watched that recently because I, I love Scooby-Doo, you know, I went to a convention recently as Velma from Scooby-Doo, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but I was just having fun with backgrounds, doing my little thing, and I was inspired by some of the backgrounds that Savannah did on some of her other Halloween art, so I was trying to take inspiration from that. And, um, especially with looking at some of the other vintage art references I had, I made sure to go through and try to inspire myself with other points of reference, you know, other than Savannah's work. And, um, I found these cute little ghosts, vintage ghosts kind of style things, and so I tried to inspire little designs off of those, 
graveyard background with like the moon and stuff and some little floating candles to float alongside her and some of the ghosts are holding them but just little fun stuff and I try to make her look more how to put more uh, like less opaque like less opacity on her to make her look more ghost-like more like she's kind of like a faint little wisp in the in the darkness I don't know it's hard to explain <laughs> But I'm trying to make her look a little less opaque because she's a ghost and usually you can see through a ghost if that makes sense. Um, the witch girl, she was very pretty and you know, I was like referencing horse, horse patterns, like how horses have certain colorations and stuff just to have different variations of horse patterns. I don't know, it's, it's, it's I was a horse girl growing up. <laughs> I will admit it. Lynx, my friend, has said I probably smell like a horse girl's belly button. It's an insult and jab at my previous horse girl history, and I accept that. I accept that as my fate forever. I will forever be known as a horse girl to all those people in like elementary school, and I will cringe at my past self and desperately hope they don't remember me as the weird horse girl who <laughs> do all this weird stuff and was in the warrior cats. <laughs> um, in the demon girl, I was just having fun with. There was like a little. I, thought, I don't know if I wanted to make her a succubus or not, but I just wanted to make her a cute little demon girl with some wings and make it look like she's trying through a nice little fiery, um, hellscape. <laughs> so, yeah. But for the most part, that is kind of all the girls. I had a lot of fun with them. And yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, thank you and all credit for this idea particularly goes to Savannah Alexandra Art, so thank you so much for being so nice enough to let me take inspiration from your work and kind of make my own version. I really appreciate that, and I hope you know that I love and respect your work a whole bunch. Yay! Um, so please go check out Savannah. She's on YouTube, she's on Instagram, and she's very nice. She does a lot of work for Mattel, and um, she did work on Archer and stuff, and... Yeah, she's really great. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye!